So talking about this violence now, nearly a year after the fact, the family of an expected mother who was shot and killed as she was just trying to pick up some kids at a party, they have turned their pain now into a mission. Her loved ones met tonight to remember her and her daughter, her unborn daughter. Our reporter Miranda Thomas was there and has their story. Miranda. Carisha Johnson was her name, and this family is hoping not anyone forgets it. Her loved ones alongside community members are pleading with people to stop with crime. When you look at her phone number and you wish that she would call, or you look at her children and being reminded of her, it doesn't get easier. Family and friends remember the life of Carisha Johnson and her unborn child, Mackenzie. And it's just different coming out here to the gravesite, having to talk to my mom, her not talking back and stuff like that. According to Baton Rouge police, Johnson was gunned down in a car while on her way to pick up some folks from a party. And now these guys are on trial for her murder. She was just a positive, innocent person. The life was taken. And it's important, I believe, that we, we uh, look at this so that we can move forward and try to end these type of uh, incidents in our communities. Her loved ones gather to share memories and release balloons. We love you, Carisha, and you're always in our hearts. A memorial still remains on the street where she was killed. Melrose East is in the heart of Baton Rouge. There's no reason that we should have the problems that we have had over the years. Milton Franklin is the owner of a business in the area and also a member of the Melrose East Crime Prevention Group. There are people back here who really care and they keep their properties up and they certainly don't want crime. He says people are still shaken up following the tragic shooting, but after a special community meeting and outreach efforts, crime has slowed down down, and they are fighting for more policing to help keep crime down, not only in Melrose, but the entire Baton Rouge community. So what, what causes it and what causes people to go around shooting up uh, property and shooting up, uh, shooting at other people is just beyond me. It's just stupid. It's just ignorance, ignorance, pervasive ignorance. Really, I think we need to get to the, south, to the uh, source of the issues because if not, we're going to just keep repeating over and over. So I think that the, the, the solution would be to get to the source of, of whatever these conflicts and whatever these problems, socioeconomic or whatever, are. Those five guys are being tried on second-degree murder. The next court date is May 1st. All right, Miranda, thank you for that. Let's get you to a traffic alert now for anyone on the road.